So here you are um, seeking employment at the moment and you will be receiving a lot of important information and messages. So watch out for that. And you've been facing a lot of challenges and trying to overcome a lot of obstacles recently. So in the past, uh, you have had uh, starting to get some resolution of any problems that you've been going through. And, you know, you may have had some loss in the form of theft. Uh, so uh, there was a need to watch your belongings. But definitely trying to get over these problems that you've been dealing with. And now you're seeking employment. And you're in a situation of financial instability and security right now. Um, so, or insecurity and financial instability. Um, and you have important decisions that you need to make right now. So uh, money is not uh, looking too good right now. And you are trying to find some sort of work in order to overcome these problems. So you've got uh, the desire card, which is the ace of rods, which means that they, you have a new idea, a new plan. Uh, you have uh, some sort of action that you want to do. So something that some new project that you want to undertake, you have a new goal in mind. So you're you're trying to go for this. Uh, you're trying to reach for it and you're putting all your energy into it. Um, and, you know, you can see you balancing here on this rod. So you are trying to focus completely on it. Maybe you're getting some help from people around you, but you definitely have a new idea, a new plan in place. So what's happening for you? Uh, you're very confused in the situation that you are and you're feeling very restricted. You really can't find, seem to see your way out of the situation. So there's something that's there that's preventing you from moving forward and you don't have all the information or all the facts revealed to you. Um, so you really don't know how to sort this problem out. And you might be uh, uh, in a situation where you're getting assessed. Um, uh, maybe you're going for interviews for a new job. Uh, maybe you're being assessed at the workplace right now. In your assessment, it seems like people really like what you've done so they're quite uh, impressed with what you did uh, or, or what you've achieved so far and they feel that all your work is pretty good so there's no need to worry about that this man is giving this woman the thumbs up so he likes what soup she's made so it seems like whatever you've done people do think that it's pretty good uh, but you seem to be stuck uh, in some kind of situation uh, where you don't know how to find your way out of it so you it seems like you know you're feeling very restricted so in the past, you've had to change your perspective in things. You've got um, the hangman over here, uh, you know, trying to get rid of any doubts and fears. Uh, things seeming to be at a standstill. Maybe you feel like you made sacrifices for a job and it didn't pay off in the end. Um, and, you know, it's got you feeling uh, rather miserable. It feels as though, you know, your world is a bit upside down right now. In the last three months, uh, there's a card of satisfaction. So you are going for what you want to uh, achieve. You're trying to achieve this um, goal. Maybe there's something that has come in for you. Uh, this is the wish fulfillment card. So generally, you know, the options are, are lots more options available for you and things that you um, enjoy doing. This could also mean that you've just taken a holiday, a little break from uh, work and, uh, you know, you've been relaxing a little bit to try and get out of the stress of maybe finding a new job or maybe whatever's been going on in your work life. Maybe you've been taking, you've taken a little bit of a break. So what's in your mind? You have completed some sort of project and you want to put it out into the world. Uh, so something has come to an end or coming to an end of its cycle and you are releasing it to be assessed by somebody. Uh, you're releasing it out in the world um, and you're hoping that it, it brings back uh, a lot of growth in your life. So you um, want to get in there and do things because maybe you've been trained up to do something and you want to get in there and and you just get on with things and people are telling you, no, you don't have enough training to actually do this particular job. You need to actually go in. If you go in and, and you know, if this little boy goes in, he might end up drowning because he's not uh, a good swimmer. He's still got uh, this rubber ducky on. So it looks like you're going to need to have a, a, an in. Um, you're going to have to have your skill sets improved. You're going to have to go and do some sort of studying or some kind of retraining in order for you to get back into that work front situation. And maybe this is the reason why if you're unemployed, you haven't found a job, you need to actually go in there and uh, retrain uh, before you can actually do things. So uh, what's going on with you? You are working pretty hard over here. So even though you're going to need some extra training in the future, whatever job you're doing now is pretty good. Uh, and, uh, you know, you're working pretty hard at it. And it is something very different from everybody else. And people realize that you're a pretty good worker and they are quite impressed with you. So they are quite impressed with you as well with this learning validation card. Uh, from what they are assessing, they, they like pretty much what you're doing right now. 
and you've got an achievement so something coming in for a celebration so whatever you goal you're going for it looks like you are going to achieve this and there's a lot of recognition that will be coming in for you so uh, what's your hopes and fears? You're worried that you're still stuck a little bit in the past. So maybe you need to update your skills and maybe this is the thing that is keeping you stuck. Um, there's also a lot more communication on the international front of here and a lot more research that needs to be done uh, by you or uh, focusing on research as well. So going into the future, you've got enough, you've got synthesis, and you've got effort. So you are going to achieve financial independence. This is the Nine of Pentacles, and it will give you, you will get into some sort of position of authority eventually, um, where you will be working independently and earning sufficient money. So you are going, entering, uh, going, you are going to do that. You are going to achieve that goal of independence. Uh, but you will probably need a little bit of training or a little bit of updating of skills in order for you to reach, achieve this um, independence, financial independence. And you can see here working very, very hard with this, this is card. It is like the temperance card. So putting um, you know a lot of effort into it. You've got all the tools, but you need to really focus and you need to be very meticulous in what you do and you need to work pretty hard at it. So you are pretty expert at what you're doing. Um, whatever you're doing is a very um, specialized job uh, and you do have the tools to do it you might just need a little bit of updating of of your skills in order for you to achieve your success this card also advises that listen to opinions of others they might have some important input and here you can see working really really hard uh, but you will achieve your goals so it looks like you will have to focus on it uh, and you know hone in on your skills make sure that you improve your skills focus on your work and you will achieve everything that you need to achieve so there is an achievement coming it looks like there is a lot of recognition coming as well you'll just have to focus on work uh, you know speak to a lot of people network with a lot of people um, and you know maybe a, an improvement of skill set uh, in order for you to get to where you're going uh, but all in all people like what you're doing and they feel that um, on assessment of you um, you know you are producing the goods and they're quite impressed with it so I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, fairy tarot. And the first card is the Eight of Spring, which says stress that comes from having too many things happening at once, successful multitasking, a sudden event or change. So, uh, you know, things are starting to move for you here. This is like the Eight of Rods. And you are feeling a bit stressed out, uh, maybe a bit out of your league. Um, but uh, you're managing to multitask. You're needing to multitask. And you are being successful at it. Then you've got the Empress card over here. The time to take action. The power of creativity. Success that allows for life's luxury. So some money coming in over here with the Empress and achieving the goals that you want. This is the card that is ruled by uh, Venus. So you will achieve your financial goals and your financial security and it you know you need to act very decisively and success will come your way and then you've got the the last card which is the wheel which says delays are over sudden changes are unexpected good luck a new era so you're starting a new cycle again and uh, in work you can see uh, there's the spinning wheel over here and you will be able to achieve what you want because there is um, unexpected good luck coming your way and with the empress it looks like it's going to be financial luck because it's uh, the wheel is following the empress so you will get some financial stability and the eight of spring as well talking about very very uh, things happening very quickly very suddenly maybe a lot of communication coming in as well with the eight of spring so the wheel bringing us uh, end of delays the eight of spring also bringing the end of delays and then it's got the empress between so it means that um, you're going to get financial success as well so something's coming your way and it's it's all good uh, and uh, you know just act with confidence I know that you're gonna have to just put in a little bit of hard work um, in order to achieve it but people all in all like what you're doing pretty much like what you're doing so i'm just going to draw a card from the um this money oracle deck uh, and um it says money is not the root of all evil money is just money until you bring your beliefs into it if you believe that money is the root of all that is uh, honorable and good then you can make it so with every cent you earn and with every dollar you create so don't be afraid of making money. Don't let it stop you. Don't think that you have to live a life of poverty. That is not really necessary. Um, it is not the root of all evil. It is just a tool. And, uh, you know, if you put good vibes into it, you will get good vibes out of it. Uh, and it will work for you. So uh, have faith in money. Don't don't uh, think of it as, you know, um, that you should have uh, live in a, a life of lack. That's, that's not 